Good morning Year 3 and welcome to your maths lesson today. So yesterday I told you when you were playing your maths games that I wanted you to have lots of questions in your head and hopefully you have the answer to all those questions that I asked you yesterday so that you've got a good idea about what makes a good game and what makes a not so good game and for different reasons that the game's not fun, that it doesn't teach you anything. So for lots of different reasons why a game would be successful or not successful. Margot, stop laughing. Felix, stop laughing too, because I can hear you wherever I am laughing, you too. So I have put in a couple, in your packs today, a couple of templates, if you like, just to give you some ideas. So today you're going to start designing your own maths game. This can be anything. I know sometimes it actually makes it harder when I say that and you just want me to tell you exactly what to do, but you're creative, you're all brilliant, you can do it. This can be anything. There is one rule or one aim, if you like, and that is it has to improve your maths. So think about your own maths where you're at, what you need to work on. You did amazingly well with your times tables last week, but some of you had got to your 12s and you still need to practice them. So maybe this could be a 12 times table game. Some of you know that you find division harder than multiplication, so this could be a division game. Be honest with yourself, what would help you improve your own maths? And then let's design a game that you can play that will help you with your own maths. So. You might choose a track type game, a start and a finish where you move along a track. You could design your track to look however you like. Of course you can use this template if you really like it and you want to do that. Um, this is more like a Monopoly. I did find a game the other day called Mathopoly. So you could do a Monopoly style game where you go round with different cards and different challenges. You could do a top trumps type of game. You could do a, a bingo type of game. So you could do different questions and people have numbers on a board and you could create a bingo game. You could do a snap game. You could do multiplication snap. So you could have lots of different cards with things and you have to work out the answer and see if you've got the same answer and play a good old fashioned snap game, which is still so much fun. So anything goes. I have also put in, sorry, some card templates for you in different colours. If you want them, there's some more in your pack tomorrow. If you prefer those colours, you don't have to use them at all. It really is up to you. I want you to work hard on these games and I want you to bring them back into school when school is open and so that we can use these games at the starts of our days, the starts of our maths lesson as maths extensions and challenges so that we get to play each other's games. So please don't think, oh, Miss Keck's asking me to play a game and we're never going to use it. We will. I really want you to bring them in on the first day that we're allowed back into school so that we can teach each other our maths games, we get to play each other's maths games, review each other's maths games etc so today's job is to design your maths game what's the aim of the game think about if it was a track game a card game think about all of those things how do you think it's going to work and then tomorrow will be much more about the detail about writing the rules how many players etc but we'll think about that tomorrow Enjoy designing. I can't wait to play. They're going to be amazing. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Make sure it's improving your maths so that we're still learning whilst we're being creative because that, for me, is the best combination. And I hope you have a really good day. See you tomorrow. Bye.